Hello YouTube, Komodo Gaming here bringing you another episode of Scrap Mechanic. Now, I'm really surprised this build hasn't been done yet. At least, I haven't seen it. I searched all over YouTube to see if certainly somebody had built this, and it's the uh, Halo Warthog. I'm really surprised for an iconic video game vehicle that I, I haven't actually spotted one on YouTube, so we're going to give it a try here. I'm going to start out and build the uh, just kind of a little bit of a base here I'm gonna I'm gonna build everything of course like most vehicles I build right around the uh, driver so we're gonna put the driver's seat and the passenger seat here um, I've got some questions about how I'm gonna do several things uh, mainly the turret in the back I've got some ideals floating around I'm not 100% sure we'll just kinda play it by ear here and see how it turns out there's probably going to be quite a few cuts in this video. Uh, there's going to be a lot of trial and error. I can, I can already tell you like most of my videos. So I'll, I'll try to definitely stick in the uh, most important parts, or at least the parts that I want you to see. I'm not going to put in some of the slower parts. I mean, I'll, I'll explain some basic things. Uh, Suspension-wise, I'm probably going to do fairly similar to how I normally do my suspensions. I have like a uh, pipe layout I, I use it's just it works really good it, lo it works really good and actually looks good I don't like to use the uh, wood blocks anymore in my suspension it just makes it look plain so it gives it a little bit more of a unique look I don't even know if it's gonna matter you're probably not gonna be able to see most of it because from the pictures I'm looking at here it's gonna be covered up but uh, another challenge I'm gonna face here is actually this vehicle has a lot of angles on it it's got a lot of it's it's not blocky and unfortunately in scrap mechanic you're working mostly at blocks so I've got a block here that I'm probably going to wind up using a lot it's like a kind of a ramp block and I'm sure I can make some angles and make it look a little bit more presentable and clean it up um, also like all of my vehicles uh, if I'm planning on having like a hitch or in this case a turn it's going to run off a bearing I make the width is going to be uneven I do that that way I can have the bearing right in the center uh, I've this is something that's really important to me now because I've had many vehicle builds where I would build the uh, vehicle and then when I go to stick a trailer or something on it it's an even number and the bearing runs off of one it's just one block wide so everything it gets off center and it's just it it'll tick you off it's I've, I've done it countless times so now I've gotten to the point where all my vehicles are always uneven as far as the width and Let's see, I've got the suspension parts, I believe, that I'm going to use. Let's go ahead and show that here. Okay, uh, suspension-wise, if you watched any of my other videos, you kind of get an idea of how I do a lot of my suspension parts. This is going to be no different. Um, I might, this is kind of a placeholder here. I'm probably going to have to make this wider. Uh, I'm looking at pictures here of the vehicle itself. And the wheels, they look like they poke out a little bit. Um, this probably isn't going to be wide enough. Let me just do a little test here and see how it's going to look. But I'm probably going to have to make this wider. And I'm going to go ahead and do the back suspension here in a second. Uh, I'll probably skip over that. That's going to be a tricky one also. The more I think about it, the back suspension, I'm going to have to deal with the turret. And the suspension I build it pops up fairly it's fairly tall just to kind of make sure I can use the biggest spring possible on there so that's this is gonna be there's gonna be a couple of challenges in this vehicle that are gonna be interesting to see you know once I figure it out kind of how everything's gonna work together here so let's go ahead and place the bearings and I do my thing where I go back and forth back and forth because there's no mirroring in the game but it's my pet peeve. I gotta make sure I get everything perfect because I don't like going back and deleting things and just because I screwed up. So that looks good. Let's do that. Let's put a wheel on it and that. Uh, these wheels are fairly big. Let me look at the other wheel real quick and just see. Just see what it looks like. I don't know. It's yeah. That's. I'm gonna place the other one here. That's definitely too small. I'm going to have to go back and use the other one. I think the other one's actually fairly close in size to the to the wheel in the game. It's, it's a pretty big wheel, so we'll go ahead and 
get the big one back and place it. Let's see. One there and one here. All right, I'm going to skip forward. I'm going to go ahead and do the back suspension and maybe build a little bit more on the base here and not have to talk over it. So let's see. Okay. As I was saying earlier, I've used some of these half blocks. I've made some lines on it. I've noticed, like I said, this vehicle's got some weird angles. Uh, right now, I'm, I'm building a little bit of a... Uh, some of the vehicles, now it's not on every vehicle, but some of these have like this rail on the side of it. I mean, it could be a rail to hang stuff. Uh, it could just be a guard rail. I mean, when you run into stuff, I, I'm not really sure the exact purpose of it, but I'm going to go ahead and stick it in there because it looks cool. It adds a little bit to the vehicle. Also, let's see. As you can see, I, I've made the lines. I'm probably going to have to go back and re-edit this. I think the uh, front end looks a little too stubby. But the lines are... It's got some really odd lines. And I'm and one thing that's really bugging me is how I'm going to do the roll cage. My ideal, which I'm going to probably do first, I've got some of these blocks. Uh, I might be able to make that angle. Like, it, the vehicle doesn't have doors. And the vehicle doesn't have like say where the door should be it's not perfectly squared off it's got these angles and I, I believe I can do these by block I, I might uh, also try it by pipe I don't know I probably can't get the angles I want with the pipe but one of the bad things with the block is every time you add these big blocks it just it makes everything look really clunky really I mean it's kind of hard on the eyes at least to me um, that's kind of what I'm thinking there I, I'm probably going to try the other thing first. I don't know. This, this is going to be, this is probably, I thought the turret was going to be tough to do, but this, to make this look right, I'm, I'm, I've got a couple things I'm going to have to go over here. Also, that back suspension, I'm going to go ahead and make it wider too, because I realize with that turret setting down in there, it's not going to, with the way I have it built right now, it's not going to set in there. It's not going to be able to turn. I'm not going to have enough room, so... I'll go back and edit that and get that cleared up. Uh, let's see. I'm liking, I'm not liking that, but I'm I'm thinking about going ahead and see if I can get this angle a little bit closer, and make it hopefully make a little more sense here. I don't know. I still think I'm going to try the pipe. Uh, the pipe's probably going to be what I'm going to do next, and that's definitely a little too tall. So, and that's. One of the unfortunate things with working with some of these blocks is that they're just a little too big, hair too big here. So I don't know. We're gonna go ahead and redo this and put the pipe on and see what it looks like. All right, I've gotten the pipe on. I've also deleting. I've got to make the front suspension a little bit wider. I've noticed that the um, the vehicle it just it, the tires weren't po uh, poking out at all. And on the vehicle, the most of the pictures I'm seeing here, the tires poke out just a hair, and I I, kept, I wasn't getting that with the uh, first suspension I built here. So I'm gonna redo that. We're gonna have to redo the backs. Uh, I don't know. There's quite a bit of stuff I've got to go back and go over again. Uh, as you can see, I've put a little bit of a. Uh, well, let me do this real quick. I've put a kind of a placeholder roll cage in, just experimenting to see what it would look like, and it. I'm not really satisfied at all with how it looks. Um, I don't know. I'm going to have to go back and redo it. Uh, there's a lot of things I'm going to have to redo. I'm going to I'm gonna have to do a lot of editing on this video because I've spent a lot of time just goofing off, attempting new things, and trying to make sense out of this whole thing. Yeah, that it just doesn't look right right now. It just looks... It doesn't look natural at all. So let's go ahead and widen this out I'm gonna use the same design I just figured I can move it over a couple blocks give myself some space in the back I also need to fill the floor out back here and I'm not really sure where that suspension just went it just disappeared in the ground but I think I, one of my builds not too long ago I deleted something it went into the ground and then it fell from the sky which was really interesting but let's see also excuse me if I sound a little funny today I've had a kind of sinus issues all day or actually the past week have been pretty bad I've had I've had some bad luck I broke my mic for my last build and then I've had some sinus, sinus issues all week but uh, I'm 
feeling pretty good today, so that's why I decided to go ahead and try to put another build together. Okay. Let's see, this front end, I'm going to have to widen out a little bit. You can kind of just see some of the angles that I've done. Uh, it didn't take much to figure these out. I was just trying to make it to where it looks good. Like I said, I, I like the angles. The only thing I'm not happy with is the roll cage, but that should be easily fixed, so I can take care of that. And let me go ahead and do the back suspension here. Like I said, it's just going to be uh, same design, just without the bar in between to make it wider. It'll just drop straight down. Straight down. It shouldn't be any issue with it, though. But um, I'll have to definitely build around these. I'm going to try to hide these as much as possible. Just the reason I do this and the reason I make it go up so high. Uh, like I said, I like using the big spring because it makes the cars handle a lot better. It makes them handle off-road really good but it, it's just you have to kind of build them really tall if not the, the vehicle sets really really high off the ground so let's go ahead and put those in okay and put one of those let's go ahead and set it on the ground here see what it looks like it looks better still not 100% happy with it okay I've done some editing here. I'm going to chop a little off the front. I've got some things I'm going to do. Uh, it's one of the vehicles I'm looking at. It has lights on the front. I kind of like the design, so I'm going to stick the lights in the front here. Another reason why I have to change the roll cage is that a lot of the vehicles I'm seeing also have a couple of lights resting on the top of the cage, and I don't think I can do that with these pipes. And these pipes look awkward, so... I mean, this would be fine if this was like any other like normal off-road buggy this would be perfectly fine but this is a I'm trying to replicate something here and I don't know also uh, I'm gonna change this here as you can see these angles I'm, I'm deleting here I I need to make it one longer uh, the angle that comes off the bottom of this vehicle it's, it doesn't have like a normal looking wheel well it just has a straight angle that goes all the way up into the hood and then it just comes around at the front uh, the angle, I just want to make it one block longer here, and that should make it look a little more natural, or at least a little closer to what the uh, vehicle is showing. So, add a third one here, so that's a, that's a longer line. I'm thinking that's going to look a little better. Yeah, that looks, that looks better. Uh, still not 100% happy with the front. Uh, of course, I'm going to put some extra things in the front. There's a, uh, I don't know what I'm going to use for it, but most of these vehicles have like a winch on the front. So I also need to add that. I'm going to fill in some of this engine compartment, uh, try to block out. And another thing I might need, need to use it for, because I have a feeling when I put the turn in the back, it's going to be really heavy, and it's going to weigh that back down. So I'm probably going to have to throw some blocks uh, right around the engine. So maybe some metal blocks in there, some real heavy blocks. And I might, I'll probably use some of those wiring. Look, these, these things that make it look like there's actual exhaust pipes, I'll probably throw some of those in there. Try, just try to make it look you know good cosmetically and also... It's going to benefit in the uh, whole fact that the weight's going to be distrib uh, the weight distribution is going to be a little bit better. It's going to be, I'm going to have some in the front because that's one of my main worries is that the back end is just going to be digging into the ground and be popping a willy the whole time. So let's see. That looks that looks pretty good. Uh, fill in this hood a little bit more. I'm trying not to screw it up. Uh, the front end, like I said, it just needs it just needs a little more, a little something. I'm not 100 percent sure. Uh, probably might be some cosmetics. Like I said, once I fill in some more, it should it should look okay. Uh, what else do I want to add here? I guess we're gonna go ahead and probably do the top next. Probably try to figure out the roll cage situation. Okay, this is this is kind of what I'm settling on here. I'm not. Not 100% happy with this, but this is probably about the closest I can get it to look to the uh, pictures I'm seeing here. Like I said, this thing doesn't have doors. It doesn't have normal, like, door openings. It's got these weird-looking angles on them. And also the front, where the windshield should be, comes out quite a bit into the hood. And, of course, they don't, I don't have any glass blocks. I don't have anything I can make with glass, so it's just going to be open. But, uh... I think I can make it come out far enough that it looks fairly natural. Uh, also, 
there's the bar that covers up the back and there's one bar that comes down the middle. I'm going to go ahead and use pipe on that. It, I think it'll make it look fairly unique. And also, I don't want to put pipe, I don't want to put a whole nother set of these blocks down the, for the middle part of the roll cage. It's just going to be a lot of blocks in there. It's going to look really kind of awkward. Let's see. Let's go ahead and get up here. I'm trying to think. I need. I'm going to use these uh, these pieces here. And I'm going to make these go all the way across. Over in the middle, I'm going to have the uh, one pipe piece that I can send one of these roll bars right down the middle here. So, like that. And I guess we need to make it go down here and oh that hangs that's way too far. Let's take chop one off here. Okay, we're gonna make it go down. Um looks like I might have to go down to the console. I haven't done the console yet, so let's do that and I'll put a uh, block here and then I'll build up around it. So that should look pretty good, especially once I start adding some of the uh, controls in the console. Okay, off to the turn. Now, I this is taking me a little bit. Uh, my first ideal was to set a seat back there and make it control the turn somehow. And every way I looked at it, the seat just didn't work. It doesn't look like it at all. Like, the seat was terrible. First, getting it to rotate and getting it to clear everything in the back, it was hard to do. It... Every video or every picture that I've seen where somebody's using the turn, and from what I remember in the game, the person's standing up, and I don't have anything that I can make. They need to have some sort of control that you can have. I'm wondering maybe that's in the works that where that way you can actually stand up and control things because the whole sitting back there just didn't work. So I kind of created these two little bars that you can stand on, and then I'm gonna be I'm creating the shield right now. And then in theory, I, I don't have a way to control it. I'm gonna actually hook it up since I don't have to be. I don't have anybody that I'm playing with. I'm gonna just hook a control up into the front. I want to make it spin from the front while I'm driving. Uh, I would like to. I would like to test this with somebody standing on this and seeing if what whatever happens when this thing starts to spin. See if the person actually balances on it. I'm not 100 percent sure, but realistically, it's here for cosmetic reasons uh we don't i don't have a functioning gun or anything that would be kind of cool for uh, scrap mechanic to add i don't know really if there's gonna be a purpose for it but if they would add some sort of uh, weapons in the game that would be kind of kind of awesome there's a there's a lot of possibilities with this game of what they can add it it's just a question if if they're gonna add some of these things and uh, there's like i said we're still on the first real big build so uh, there's only gonna be more blocks added and more exciting features and everything else so, looking at the picture again. Uh, some of these shields, uh, they vary from uh, design. I've seen some of these uh, Warthogs that have uh, different uh, features in the back. Like, I've seen some that ha actually just carry troops in the back. They have like, this, this weird square cage, or square-looking cage. And it looks like you can set, like, four troops back there. I'm going for a little bit more of the traditional, the older Halos. You know, the only thing I really remember in them were the miniguns. Um... Uh, to be honest with you, I haven't really played the latest Halo. I kind of I got into four a little bit, and I kind of stopped there. I had bought the Master Chief Collection, and it didn't run really, like it was broken. So that was really disappointing. But I remember this was one of the first games where I mean, co-op wise, this was awesome. Playing this with friends, everybody jump, and this vehicle, I mean, especially was just awesome. Everybody jumping in there. You know, somebody riding in the passenger seat, shooting. You get the driver. Somebody sitting on the turn. I mean, it was it was awesome. That was like one of the first real good co-op experiences I had with playing with friends, and it just that was way ahead of its time. And I think it was oh one when the first Halo came out. It was oh one or oh two, but uh, it was it was awesome. So this this vehicle is kind of bringing back some memories. I might have to fire some Halo up. Let's see. Let's add another piece up here and make this look a little bit bigger of a shield. You need uh, all the protection you can get here. But this, I mean, I'm getting close to everything being built. Of course, I'm going to skip over. I'm going to do some co uh, minor cosmetic things. I'll just skip that 
out of the video uh, out of the uh, video I'm just kind of showing the the major parts and kind of how I did them I, I don't want to show me like decorating it because it's just really pointless I'll uh, I'll do that and then we'll give it a test here in a minute let's go ahead and place a controller I'm gonna do the console inside a little bit and add a uh, I'm gonna add a controller like I said I'm just gonna map the uh, the button to the front and I just want to prove that it works, prove that it spins around, it clears the body, it, it doesn't get hung up anywhere. So I'm going to just make it rotate maybe a couple times. So let's go ahead and, if I don't get stuck here, let's go ahead and place the center in here. And we'll just stick the controller here in the front. And I need a button. I need to get that too. Let's get the button. We'll probably stick this down in the middle here. I don't want to use. I need a radio too. I'm gonna to put radio and everything. And I need the duck. I need to throw the duck in there. So let's throw the button down here. And let's go ahead and put our duck in. I'm gonna have company here. And let's go ahead and let's let's map this all together so I need to map the turrets bearing to the controller and I need to map the let's see the controller to the button and the button to the driver's seat okay um, let's let's go ahead and use the controller here like I said it's gonna I'm just gonna make it spin around a couple times just prove it works so I think a couple 360s will be fine uh, slow it down a little bit here and we should be we should be ready to test here. I believe we're ready to go, so let's test it out. All right, as you can see, everything's working here. Uh, let's go ahead and activate the turret. Turret spins around; it's clear; it doesn't hang up anywhere, so it, that that works. I'm not sure anybody would be able to hold on to it. Another thing that I've noticed: my vehicle has the same characteristics as the uh, car in the game. The car in the game tips over really easy. And, I remember that, and my car does the same thing. Of course, that was just me flying off a cliff. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have the button like they do in Halo, where I can just click a button and it flips the uh, the warthog over. So let's just place it back down. And let's give it a go again. It handles really well. I mean, it's it drives. It's fun to drive. It's fast. It takes hills really well. I mean, it it tips over a lot, but it's it's a kind of a blast to drive. I would have liked to have made the uh, turret where you can actually lock somebody into it and make them ride around, but I'm not sure anybody would be able, be able to actually set into it. Uh, let's see. Oh, yep. And... I almost tipped it back over. But, yeah, let's... Oh, there we go. Flipped it right back over. But yeah, I think that's going to wrap it up for this build. I'm... I'm happy with the way this one came out this uh like I said it's not perfect it's not a one to one but it's it's a I feel that it's a fairly close representation of the uh vehicle so hey if you like to subscribe like the videos we'll be doing some more games and I'm sure we'll be doing some more scrap mechanic so uh, we'll see you guys next time